Hey, this is Tim with BPAW's Enterprise Point of Sale Solutions. And in this video, we're gonna answer the question, what's the difference between a point of sale system and a cash register? So first of all, it's important to understand the limitations of most cash register systems. Cash registers um, are the old school systems that have been around for 100 years, which usually have very little memory and very little um, things that they can do versus a point of sale system, which is built on a computer, oftentimes with a touchscreen that has a huge amount of memory and can store lots of data about all the transactions that are happening. In a cash register, for example, um, most cash register systems are not able to track inventory. In fact, most of the low level cash registers couldn't even, some of them can't even have a button that says, I'm gonna sell a taco, press the taco button and have it be 499. Some of them can do that, um, but most of them couldn't, many couldn't do that or even track the inventory levels or then give you your reports in some backend system uh, to be able to give you aggregated reports and track how your sales are doing on an ongoing basis. So in a point of sale system, not only could we have uh, all of your prices changed and have security for how people do certain pieces, we can lock down certain users so they can do only certain things. In a cash register, oftentimes the difference between a manager and a cashier is a key. Uh, in a point of sale system, the difference between a manager and a cashier well, first of all, it might not just be a manager and a cashier. It might be a cashier, a lead cashier, a key holder, a manager, a super manager, an owner, and a super admin. So we could have as many different levels of permissions and lock down certain portions to certain employees. Um, of course, when I'm using a, a point of sale system, the whole point or one of the main points is that I have standardized pricing. Oftentimes in places that are using cash registers, what ends up happening is you go to the cash register and the cashier types in the amount that you're, they're supposed to sell you uh, of whatever they're selling. So you've been in a restaurant, this could be retail, it doesn't matter what kind of organization. You go up to the counter and you try to get your burger and fries and a drink. And so they ring up a burger at $5.99 and a fries at $1.99 and a drink at $1.99 but they accidentally press $59.99 or they press $4.99 or $3.99 or even, you know, whatever worse, $1.99 and your prices are off because they didn't have a standard price. Also, they forgot to add the drink or they forgot to add the cheese to the burger. In cases, in my past history, I've gone into a lot of organizations where we put in uh, point of sale systems to replace cash registers. And I've seen sales jump by as much as $100 a day by putting a point of sale system in for replacement of the cash register. That point of sale system from day one was paying more than paying for itself very easily. So because, and oftentimes it's fat fingered transactions where they hit the wrong button, they forgot to add the drink, they forgot to add the cheese. And then if you're in a restaurant environment and I ring up the items using an old school cash register, there also now needs to be some way to communicate to the kitchen. A point of sale system would oftentimes send a ticket or uh, send the order and how it's to be prepared to the kitchen. So the point of sale system not only has the correct pricing, so when you do a cheeseburger, it's always the same price, unless you have it on special, which could be managed by the point of sale system, but it also prints to the kitchen. If you don't have such a system, you need to handwrite a ticket and turn it into the kitchen. Oftentimes the kitchen cooks will look at that handwriting and try to read your kitchen scratch and then have to call you back and say, hey, what did you mean here? What did you really want? And that chicken scratch takes time. It slows down the order. Also, I wrote down the chicken scratch and I might have typed, uh, miswritten it or forgotten to write, write down the drink. All of those things could be things that could be costing you money in your organization by just using a simple cash register. Not to mention things like inventory. If you're running even a retail operation, you're using a cash register that doesn't track inventory, that inventory, the numbers on what inventory values are to your business is massive. If you have even $100,000 of inventory in your, your store and you're using a simple cash register, putting in a point of sale system that would help you track your inventory and a point of sale system like BPAS that could help you optimize your inventory and help you make better orders and help you make the orders could save you tons of hours of labor, 
potentially labor that you could be paying some employee to do. So now I'm making my business more efficient and saving me money on the labor. And most importantly, I could save you money on how much inventory you're putting on the shelf. Because when you're making manual decisions about thousands of products, the likelihood is that you're either buying too much or too little, and that too much is causing you to have wastage on the shelf, and too little is causing you to um, miss sales. Both of those could be fixed by a point of sale system. Point of sale systems also could do such things as loyalty, give you better data and reporting and analytics and help you figure out things like what are what's the employees that I should be looking at who could potentially be stealing from me and all sorts of other things. So if you wanna talk about how BPOS can help you upgrade from your cash register to a point of sale system, we'd love to talk to you about. You can call us at the number at the top of the screen or click the link below.